I'm the Rules Girl, and this is Bob Ross, Art of Chill, a relaxing game of painting and set collection for two to four players. In Art of Chill, players use paints and brushes to earn chill points by creating landscape features like almighty mountains, happy little trees, wondrous water, and more. The winner is the player who reaches the chill space on the chill meter first. Players start the game with a hand of paint supply cards, including different brush types and paints. Players play paints onto their palettes and collect brushes in order to match and paint the three features on the current painting. Players gain chill points for painting features and gain bonus chill points if they paint certain features before Bob does. On your turn, you'll roll the die and resolve its effect, then perform up to three actions. If you roll this symbol, play one paint from your hand onto your palette. This symbol allows you to draw one art supply card from the deck, and this allows you to take one action of your choice. If you roll Bob, follow these steps. Draw and reveal one chill card. Chill cards have various effects, like giving extra chill points for certain feats or allowing a one-time special ability. Next, move Bob one space to the right along the Bob track. When Bob moves onto a spot with a feature, he paints it. That feature will no longer grant players bonus chill points. After rolling and resolving the die, you may take any three of these actions. 1. Draw one art supply card from the deck or the row, replacing an empty spot if necessary. 2. Play one paint card to add paint to one area on your palette. Both areas can hold up to three paints. Once you play two or more paints in one area, those paints are mixed and cannot be used separately. 3. Wash your palette by removing all cards from one area. 4. Sweep the art supplies by discarding all four cards in the row and replacing them. 5. Earn a technique card by discarding two cards from your hand that match the brush or paint shown on the card. Take the technique card and gain two chill points. Until the end of the game, you'll earn one extra chill point each time you paint a feature requiring that brush or paint. 6. Paint a feature. Choose one feature on the painting, then discard the matching brush from your hand and all matching paints from your palette. Next, move your chill cube forward one space for each paint you used. Place one of your feature markers on the first empty space under that feature on the game board. If you're the first or second player to paint that feature, you gain two or one extra points. Finally, check to see if you gain extra points from any related chill cards or technique cards, and if you've painted that feature before Bob. After taking up to three actions, it's the next player's turn clockwise. Players continue taking turns until one player has painted all three features on the painting, or when Bob reaches the last space on the Bob track. It's now time to finish the painting. Replace the painting with a new one from the paint track. Return Bob to the first space on the Bob track, and return all feature markers on the board to their owners. The game continues, resuming the turn of the player whose turn was active. The game ends when one player becomes the most chill, by reaching the chill space on the chill meter. That player wins the game! Ready to play? Place the easel and game board onto the table. Shuffle the chill cards, art supply cards, painting panels, and technique cards, placing them onto these locations. Each player takes a palette and its matching chill cube and three feature markers, placing the chill cube here. Reveal the top four technique cards and place them into a row. Deal three art supply cards to each player and reveal the top four, placing them into a row. Reveal the top painting panel and place it into the easel. Place the bob mover onto the easel shelf. The player who most recently painted goes first. If you liked Bob Ross, Art of Chill, you might also like Bob Ross, Happy Little Accidents, another exciting game from Big G Creative. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking it and subscribing to the Dice Tower for rules explanations, reviews, and more.